Today's project is putting stainless steel feet on this cast iron bench. As we know, you can't really weld, especially with a, an arc welder, you can't really directly weld to uh, cast iron. And uh, so I've got some thoughts on how to do it. The feet are leaving rest marks, so we want to stop that. And uh, let's flip it over and get a close up. About an inch wide up here. And the only stock I could find, uh, locally anyway, was this uh, half inch solid stainless and it'd be wonderful if I could just uh, so, uh, weld it solder it weld it directly on here uh, but of course that's not going to happen with uh, with uh, cast so the thought is to put some stock on here like this some one inch wide uh, bar stock and weld the stainless to it and then put some uh, you can see underneath here it sloped a little bit. Put a piece of metal here and then just weld along the edge here. I do not want to contaminate the stainless because that will just leave rust marks. So what I'm thinking about doing is drilling some holes through here and then welding from the back side. Weld the stainless on there from the back side. Place this on here. Again put the little pieces in here. Weld across this edge. Not not welding the the uh, cast iron, just welding these uh, soft iron together, the soft steel together, and that will be it. So uh, that's uh, the current thought on it right now. Let's see what happens. So here's what I've got so far. I've got this piece of metal. And I've drilled my holes in it so that I can so I can weld the stainless on there through those holes in the back like that. and then that will go on here and then I've got these little pieces of metal that will go underneath here like that and let's see if I can do this one handed like this and then I will weld along that uh, gap and in essence I'm just making a, a shoe with a stainless steel uh, piece on it and I think it will be clearer once I get this piece welded up I'll show you so this is what I got to start out with this. I'm going to set this on top of here and weld it. Here's my first attempt. You can see I got voids and just not good penetration. I was trying to use a thinner welding rod, a 2.0 millimeter welding rod, and only about 30 amps, and you see I didn't get the penetration. Now, step over here. This one's still hot. Uh, stepped it up to 40 amps, used a bigger rod, next size up, and you can see I got much better penetration. Um, so this is the way I'm going to do it on the rest of them. So here we have the setup. I've got this uh, little piece of metal. That's going to sit there. I've got a little piece of filler rod to separate out. I don't want to include the uh, cast iron while I'm welding. And then we got the piece we just made with the stainless welded to the uh, flat bar stock. And and I will set this in place and tack weld it, uh, get the other place, piece in place, clamp it down and then weld across. So here we are. These uh, two pieces are welded in underneath there. Uh, grabbing it in place like this. Here's our, uh, our piece of metal we welded the stainless to. And I got some more grinding to do. But uh, there's the concept in practice. So it's basically uh, stainless steel welded onto a, a channel or a boot if you will that uh, wraps around the chair leg. Here we are with all four feet in position and spray paint to cover some sin. Let's flip her over and see how it works. There's a close-up on the front foot all finished. Don't know if you can see underneath there. But, uh, and there's the first of three. Well, hope you found it useful and interesting.